Now I heard there was a secret chord that Dante designed and it pleased the Lord. But you don't, you don't really care for nibbage, do you? It uncaps like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major lift. The brilliant designer, designing hallelujah. Today we're going to be talking about a very special pen. It's a very special pen because it's very special to me. And I'll tell you why. When I got seriously interested into pens, this is a long time ago. We're talking the end of 2010. My granddad passed away. He left me a Parker set. I had, I had been using fountain pens for years, but I didn't, I didn't really know much about them. I did some online research. I found a whole bunch of videos on YouTube, a whole bunch from Brian Goulet. Uh, and that, that taught me a lot about fountain pens, but there was one video that I found, and that stood out to me. Not that, that Brian's didn't, they stood out to me as well, but I mean, this particular video struck me, and it was a video from Bertram Ozer of Bertram's Inkwell, and he demonstrated Visconti Palladium nibs. And he showed a fine palladium nib <clears throat> on what he described as the Visconti Opera Master tobacco. And from the moment I saw that pen, I was in love with it. I, I loved everything about it. The size, the looks, he described it as his favorite color. And I understood why. Now, the original Opera Master pen by Visconti was launched in three colors blue with a, a uh, I think it's a rhodium trim, in any case chrome colored, a demonstrator which also has chrome colored trims and is transparent with, with blue swirls in it, like like the, uh, uh, the the original, was it, the crystal swirls, that they had a homo sapiens in that material too, and then there was this, which is known as the tobacco, also known as the tortoise. I love this one, couldn't find it anywhere, looked for years. At some point I did find another Opera Master, the, the demonstrator at Ackermann and The Hague. I got a couple of Opera Masters, but I, I, was, I kept looking for this. And then, at some point, Aziza said, I found one. I bought it, very happy I did. Pretty much sold off all my other Masters, because this is the one I wanted. Now, I don't really like bothering people with lengthy introductions and all sorts of personal stories, but in this case, I felt like I had to because it, it is a pen that I have a very sp special connection to. It took me well over a year, if not a year and a half, maybe two years actually, to review this. I have put it in my personal pens video series, but today I really want to go over all the motions and everything. So I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, I'll do a writing sample, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. But I really like it, just so you know. Okay, let's not waste any more of your precious time. I want to get started right now. Okay, let's have a look at the Visconti Opera Master Tobacco. A larger pen. I always try to put this in such a way that I kind of matched. A larger pen, both in girth and in length, uh, also in weight. These pens are no joke when it comes to weight. A lot of metal parts, a bit top heavy. Uh, so it's, it's definitely one for people who, who don't mind a heavier pen. Aziza, for example, loves this model, but for her it's it's too heavy to use for extended writing. So I always like to, to put that in to, to, to give you some more to, to consider. Now, just in general before we start, um, it was a limited edition, 888 pens, so don't think you'll be able to run out of the shop and get this. They are hard to find. I see the demonstrators on eBay, I see the blue ones on eBay, but the tobacco um, seems to be very popular because you don't really find them a whole lot on the aftermarket. Uh, so, sorry, but I had nothing I could do. Okay, let's cover the parts of the pen, then we'll do a writing sample. Top of the pen, I have this Visconti My Pen Amber thing. First of all, they should really launch those with a gold ring, because you can see the trims are gold and the this thing is actually uh, chrome colored. It's just a magnetic thing, right? So some of these Visconti pens have that. It's a little hard to pop off without a magnet. I happen to have this Pineda which has a magnet. I don't know where the magnet is here. 
Anyway, can't, can't really pull it off. Anyway, it doesn't matter. What matters is it comes with a little Visconti logo finial. You can pull that off and you can put on one of these different types. Uh, but the amber, I thought, really matched the, uh, the overall pen. Okay, then we have Visconti spring-loaded mechanism with the authentic enamel on the clip when they still did that. Um, spring-loaded, they say it can't break. I wonder if a crowd of rugby players could, could would agree with that. But in any case, uh, it, it, it is a nice system to have that spring-loaded. And I know that these people have a love, and hate, love or hate affair with these clips. Some people really hate them. I like them. Mold after the Ponte Vecchio in um, uh, Florence, where the, the pens are made. I think it's very cool. But as I said, you either love it or you hate it. Okay, then you have the center band, which for reasons unknown says Opera and not Opera Master, because there's the regular Opera pens, which are actually quite a bit smaller than these are. There's clearly enough space. If you move Opera up a bit, it could say Opera Master, but, but it doesn't. Okay, then you have the cap. As you can see, it's transparent. You can see the nib in there and the nib and clip align, which is bonus points. Overall, uh, some of these pens, some of the, 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 it's the squaring the circle concept, so you have a basically a square pen with rounded off corners. I have seen some of these that don't line up, not necessarily this tobacco model, but other uh, master finishes where the, the facets don't really line up. You can fix that, but it would be nice if they all left the factory lining up. I mean, you're buying an expensive pen. Um, barrel. Pen is a power filler, which means that you can unscrew this, uh, you pull that out, you put it in an ink bottle, you push the piston all the way back in, it creates a vacuum, and as soon as the piston hits the wider part of the barrel, it, the vacuum pops and it sucks up ink. You can fill the barrel all the way, I choose not to do that, but I have a video on how to do that if you really want to. And there is the secondary ink chamber, so this was designed in such a way that you can empty that out. You can see there's no ink in there now. And if you fly with it, there wouldn't be any ink uh, to, to squeeze out of the pen, so to speak. And of course, I'll try to do this so you can see it. You can fill up, fill up that reservoir with ink again. Very nice system, one of my favorite filling systems. Unfortunately, not necessarily very easy to maintain yourself because you can't really open up these pens very easily by yourself. You have to send them in for repair and such. Um, but, you know, that's just the way it is. Barrel is transparent as well, um, as you can sort of see here, and in there you see the rod for that, that uh, dual reservoir power filler. If you hear weird noises, it's windy outside and the window is, is moving up and down a bit. Okay, metal threads um, on uh, the, the Visconti material, which was, uh, they have a name for that, Acroloid, I, 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 I forgot, oh, sorry. Um, I wish that there was metal inside the cap as well, so that these threads won't strip, but anyway. Section. Now, it is a large pen. I'll show you this again next to, next to the, uh, the uncapped um, um, Safari. If you don't remember the name of Safari Brown, then you've been in this for too long. In any case, um, so a larger pen and girth, definitely girthy, big section. Uh, gold colored and this is an 18k original Visconti gold nib which they don't make anymore which is a giant shame. Uh, it has the beautiful Visconti logo. I love these 18k nibs. I think they're beautiful design. Uh, it says uh, 18k 750 Firenze and beef abroad and there it says Visconti. This nib was tuned by Mike Masayama because I had issues with it at first uh, which of course shouldn't be the case but I did and now it is superb. So sometimes a nib, or actually I think always a good nib meister can really make a difference. Large pen, as you can see, it's big, and if you post it, it becomes pretty ridiculous. That's a really absurd pen. Now, the Opera Master model. Should you want one, they're available. Not necessarily in this finish, but there's a whole bunch of people. Uh, Brian Greer of Chatterley Luxuries regularly brings out exclusive models. Uh, Brian. Uh, Goulet from the Goulet Pen Company is bringing out exclusive Opera Master models, so uh, there is there is definitely pens out there. They they just not necessarily in this finish, but if you really like the model, you can get that. Okay, so um, let's see how this pen writes. Not unimportant. Grabbing a paper, sheet of paper. All right. 
what do we have here? We have here the Visconti Opera Master Tobacco, the nib is a broad 18K and the ink is SBRE Brown I like that ink but then I'm biased. Writing is superb, it is extremely smooth. <clears throat> it's a nice rich ink flow and this pen is just so damn comfortable. I have no other way of putting that. One of the reasons I absolutely love it. Okay, a bit of fast writing. No skipping. Perfect. As to wetness, it's wet. Line variation, I don't really squeeze down on this nib as I use it. It has been carefully tuned by Mike Masayama. I don't want to undo his work. So there's not going to be any real skipping or any real um, uh, pressure applied to that. As to reverse writing, and just to be sure, I mean, I don't really recommend people to go out and exert extreme amounts of pressure on their nibs anyway but a lot of people ask me about the springiness of nibs. Well, it's an 18K nib, but it's not, not particularly springy. Reverse, you can take that from a broad to a fine, maybe even extra fine uh, if you really want to, so very, very nice. But all this is kind of a pointless exercise because you, these nibs are no longer made. You can find 18K nibs on Visconti pens on eBay and such. You can occasionally find nib units or just the loose nibs on eBay, um, but um, yeah, there is this. By the way, I switched this out. Actually, it came with a brown um, feed, which was kind of nice because it matched the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 so the brown color of the pen. But this is the same Visconti feed, it's just a different color. Okay, so rather nice. I really like it. Now let's talk about what I like about it and what I not like about it. Okay. What do I like, and also important, what do I not like about the Visconti Opera Master tobacco? For me, a grail pen. So obviously, there's a lot that I like. Uh, I like the shape, I like the size, I like the weight, I like a lot about the design, and I love the material. This is such a warm, beautiful amber 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 I'm not a native speaker amber that i really i love it i think it's beautiful that that those sort of that black mottled stuff in there i think it's great i love that and as i said the shape the size the weight fantastic superb ink capacity as well nib and clip line up in a transparent cap has a lot going for it nib as I said, I switched out. It came with a, I think, um, a two-tone palladium medium, palladium medium nib, which wrote fine. I chose to put on that 18K broad nib, um, and I had to have that tuned. So it's kind of hard because that nib didn't really write, but it didn't come with the pen. So the nib that came with the pen actually wrote fine. I like that you can use the, the my pen system and put the little gemstone on it because I think that kind of matches the pen uh, in this uh, specific case, which is nice. I like the clip. I like it. If I remember correctly, these had an introductory price of about $795. So they are not cheap, and that's one of the things you could you could uh, complain about. Um, now, in the aftermarket, I fear the price is only going to go up, especially because they were limited to 888 pens. Um, that's as it is. Things I don't like beyond the price, one of the issues with this filling system is that you really can't maintain it. It's not always easy. Officially, you need a, um, a, a sort of, um, uh, what do you call that, a tool, a wrench to unscrew the nib units. Sometimes with Visconti, you can screw them out. Sometimes they're very tight. You can't do that. If you can do that, you can put some silicone grease on the inside of the barrel. But if you can't, uh, you either have to go to a nice retailer who's willing to open it up for you and, and grease it, or you have to send it into Visconti for maintenance. 
Um, there have also been some issues of, of pens uh, with power fillers leaking and such. Uh, so, unfortunately, it, it, there, there seem to be some issues, but I hate to say it, that may be a bit of a Visconti thing. There are definitely, I have sent in a couple of Viscontis for maintenance as well. Uh, so, it's not a flawless system, uh, but <laughs> when it works, it's great. So, I think that's a polite way to put it. To be honest, that's all I have. This is one of my grail pens, so I'm really thinking of how to, to criticize it. What I will say is it's heavy, and because of this, this is pretty thick metal, so when you write with it, it's a bigger pen and it's it's really quite heavy. So for really long writing sessions, it may not be for everyone. As I said, for Aziza, for example, it's, it's too heavy. So do consider that. See if you can maybe try someone else's before you commit to it if you don't really like heavier pens, because you're in for a nasty surprise if you get it thinking it's a light pen. This material looks light, but there's a lot of metal in the back, so it's it definitely weighs quite a bit. Okay, having said that, the bottom line, it's one of my grail pens. It's a pen I've been looking for for years, so obviously I like it. I, that's why I purchased it. I hope I've conveyed that enthusiasm uh, in an appropriate manner. Um, that's all I can say. I love this pen, and I hope I'll have many, many more years with it. So, that's all there's to it. I hope this was useful, and um, I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye.